have some explaining to do. I had promised a video, I think like a week ago or two weeks ago, but I never uploaded it. I am going to and it's going to be pretty long. Um, I'm, not fi I'm honestly not finished doing the notes, but the reason why I haven't done it is because I got, um, I had like a bad accident while washing dishes. I was washing dishes and then I got this, I don't know, I'm sure you guys seen them like in Walmart or in Target, those glass stands, it's like a, it's like a glass stand with a top where you could put bread or cakes, it's like a pastry dish. And <clears throat> we put our bread there, go over there, no, go over there, go to bed, go to bed Ola. We put our bread there and it was time for time time for me to wash it. So I was washing dishes and my, my sister comes and she brings the dishes. She's like, here, um, wash it. So I'm like, okay, fine. My wrist was already hurting before washing the dishes. Um, so once I grabbed the top, which was the heaviest thing, something happened and my, my wrist just gave out. My whole hand, basically. I let go of it and I guess my hand, my other hand, went under it to try to grab it, but it shattered onto it. And I got um, little cuts like around here, but I got really, really. Well, it's healing now. It's been almost three weeks. Um, really bad gash. It was a little bit too messy for them to um, sew or to stitch up, so they basically just put glue. Um, I don't really have good insurance, so I had to go. Go to bed now. Go to bed now. Go to bed. Go to. Go to bed. Sorry. So I had to go to like this uh, random urgent care that would get my insurance. So I wouldn't be charged that much. Um, long story short, they basically did a crappy job. They just, I guess I was their last patient. Coincidentally, I got there like five, ten minutes before closing without knowing. Um, so when we got there, they just looked at it. They put the glue and then they put a regular band-aid on top of it. And they just told me to um, wait a little bit, wait a full day, and then change the band-aid. I did that. But when I did, when I tried to take out the band-aid, I saw that the glue got stuck to the adhesive of the band-aid. So when I stripped it off, it basically took the glue and it reopened my cut. I was bleeding. Never in my life have I seen so much blood. Never in my life. Like when when the glass shattered two three seconds passed by and i thought everything was okay but then i just started seeing like the blood just literally gushing out like little like gushing out so um as you guys can see it's right where um right where i bend it and all of it was basically all this was open all that was open uh i panicked I panicked, but coincidentally, my sister was got out of work early, and she was there, and I was like, Joanna, Joanna, help, help. And I'm like, it hurts, because it was, it hurt really bad. She panicked, too, and she's like, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do, what do I do? I'm like, I don't know, but help, because I was literally like this, because the blood was coming out, and I didn't know what to do. I was like this. So I go, and I follow her, too, because my mom, in my mom's rest restroom, she has, like, a, a drawer full of like first aid kit is the drawer so she opens it up and then she I, I put it i put it in the sink and i'm not looking i'm like looking away crying because I'm, I'm panicking here i'm crying and then she's she's well she's panicking too obviously trying to grab something um she gets a uh, agua agua oxigenada the what's it called i forgot what's it called in english but anyways i, I forgot but she pours it on top and well it's a chemical reaction with the with the blood it foams up so <laughs> instead of like normal blood coming out I just see foams of blood come out and that freaked me out i was like joanna you better fix this this is a normal what is going on she's like oh it's supposed to happen it's just i'm just trying to clean it up i don't want to put alcohol because that's gonna hurt i'm like okay but 
keep in mind this was already like it was still hurting it was burning and i was screaming i was there like it's like stop what you're doing it hurts just like i have to do it i have to do it or it's gonna get infected we don't want to get infected so then she starts wrapping it up and then um she does like two three layers and the, you can see the blood still going through the through the layers and she's she, that's what she tells me she's like okay we have to go to the hospital or somewhere so she wraps it up really really tightly and then she puts a she puts a gauze and then she puts like the self self ed he's like tape thing so she puts that and then i'm like go to the restroom just there like grabbing my hand because i feel it pull, like the pulse it hurt it was hurting really bad it just felt like hot i don't know it was weird i felt numb i after about 30 minutes she finally found a place where it accepts my insurance so then we're, we're going we're going um we get there and then so when i tell them we, there was still like a i'm gonna say like a 20 minute wait still so we're there waiting and um as the time was going by i don't know i started feeling like spaced out very dizzy i don't know that wasn't normal but Anywho, um, it was just because I guess the blood loss or maybe just because of everything that was happening. They put me in and that's when they put the, they were like, oh, it was um, like, I was in, my nurse was Hispanic. It was cool. And then, but my, my doctor, he was Asian. He was very, very rough on my finger. So it had, when I, I once he took away the, the, the gauze and everything, it wasn't bleeding. Like it had like finally barely closed. And then he just grabs my finger and she's like, okay, let me see. And then he, like, he basically, like, <laughs> treats it like a rag doll. I'm like, oh my God, ow. And it just starts gushing out blood again. He's like, oh, oh, okay, we need to stop the blood in order for me to proceed. And I was like, hmm. Hmm, I wonder whose fault is that. Well, anyways, um, they wrapped something, or the you know, the thing when you're about to get a shot and they wrap it around, the rubber string, they wrap that around didn't work it was still gushing out blood and then i want to go grab like this special like like plastic round thing with the rubber in the middle where you basically force your finger in and then let go and then that basically stops all the blood flow that was painful trying to get it in and that's what she said um so once the bleeding finally stopped with that thing um they put the glue and then they put the band-aid but like i said when I tried to take out the band-aid, the whole glue came out, so I was like, damn. Um, I had to go to work though, so I, I went to work and I put the I tried to put the gauze again, you know. Well like a like a Mickey Mouse, I don't know. So I lost my train of thought. But yeah, I went to work. I told my I told my manager if I could leave a little bit early so I could go to urgent care but i think they got busy and i didn't end up leaving early i just went straight to there i got there at 5 10 and they closed at 5 so i was like wow and then i quickly check online to see if there's anything like the same the same name or the same company around like odds odds are none but there was another one like seven ten minutes away so um, I'm going, I'm rushing to this one, and I get there, and I tell them, like, oh, this and this and that. There was, like, about 10 people in front of me, and they tell me, that, um, like, oh, there's gonna, the reception girl, she's like, to be honest, like, with a little attitude, but, I mean, whatever. I get it, you know, I'm, I'm sure she gets rude customers, but, I mean, I wasn't rude, but I, I you know, I get it. So, you well, it's gonna take a while, just to let you know. Probably gonna take, like, the, the least two hours. I was like, oh well, oh well, you know. This is, I mean, I have to have to get a fix. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. She's like, okay. And I guess a nurse was over. I guess she overheard what I was telling her and everything that that happened. She comes up to me. She's like, let me see. What what did they do to you? And I explained to her what exactly like what they did. And she's like, hmm, that doesn't sound right. Okay, let me see. Can you unwrap it? So I start unwrapping it, and, and I get to the point where if I unwrap it one more time, like, it's right in the point that's holding the wound together. And I show her, she's like, okay, okay, no, 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 put it, like, hold on. 
Um, she goes to, to the back and I guess she speaks to her doctor and tells, tells her the situation. And then she comes back, go to, go to bed, go to bed. She goes, she, she goes to the back and tells the doctor and she comes back to me and asks me, um, who, who was a doctor that did this? And I, I mean, I didn't know what was his name. So I just described him and she's like, oh, okay, hold on. So I guess he had a reputation of not doing a good job. So then he goes, she goes back to the doctor and then she goes back to me. She's like, okay, honey, come, come follow me. So I get to skip the whole line, thank goodness. And then they put me in the room right away. And she's like, okay, let me, let me unwrap it. And then we'll see, we'll see how it is. So she unwraps it and thank goodness it wasn't bleeding anymore. It was basically closed. The, the bleeding was closed, but the wound was still open. Um, the glue came out with it and the doctor was like, whoa, did you get, was, did you get this wet? Like, did you shower with it? And I told him like, well, I tried to keep it, like, to keep it like up so I won't wet it. He's like, mm, with the steam, the steam still goes inside the band-aid. He's like, and they gave you this kind of band-aid, the regular one? I'm like, yeah. He's like, he wasn't supposed to give you that. He was supposed to give you some of this. And they basically, they basically explained and they did the job they were supposed to do in the beginning. Um, he told me basically that, I mean, the wound was already pretty much closed. We just needed a little, we needed help to keep the skin flaps together so they could heal. So that's why they put like, the strips and they told me that when time as it heals they'll come off but none of them have come off at, at all like the the ends are the ends are loose but the where the wound it's like stuck to it so i'm not rushing that um so yeah they put that and then they put like a special band-aid um where it doesn't it only um it doesn't stick it only sticks from like the outside it's like a latex i don't know like a plastic type of thing it was cool so they put that and then they put the 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 strip the metal thing so keep it straight and then they put a gun the tape to keep it basically how it is so it could heal straight because since it's where i bend it um when it first when i first cut it it was like this I, I couldn't go like this because it hurt but with the with the the strip or whatever it made me do it so and it stayed like that I got used to it and that's how it's supposed to heal um since it's already it's already been like two or three weeks I only wear when I go to work so I don't like accidentally hurt myself but right now since I just got home from from work um decided to take it out to air it out but yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading. Um, it was it was pretty hectic. Never, I never imagined how life is without like a hand. I can't wash my hair. It's very difficult for me to wash my hair. It's very difficult for me to do like you know basic things just because I don't have my left hand. And I'm a righty too, so. And it's funny because it's right on my wedding <laughs> wedding finger and it's it, like people joke about it they're, they're like oh some people need that finger you know you need to get that fixed i'm like yeah yeah oh. but that's why i haven't uploaded and yeah <laughs> but i am gonna upload the the i'm gonna be talking about um fallout fallout um enemies and specifically from new vegas um i'm gonna try to focus on enemies that come from just new vegas but there are going to be obviously variants like the meyer lurks with the lake lurks or the bloat flies with the i think they're called bloat flies too or i'm not sure i forgot but yeah it is going to be very long probably 30 to 40 minutes I want to say I don't know pretty long because I have a lot of notes to talk about I hope you guys have a beautiful night and rest up happy Labor Day weekend um yeah good night <laughs> bye guys